Welcome to Salisbury University on the Air, a program highlighting the activities and the people of the campus. My name is Susan Purnell. Shakespeare once said, if music be the food of love, play on. With that as inspiration, SU provides a veritable smorgasbord this December with a variety of holiday concerts and other musical events. Joining me to discuss these programs are William Folger, co-chair of SU's Music, Theater, and Dance Department, and Tammy Kilgore, manager of the Salisbury Symphony Orchestra at SU. First is Bill. Welcome, Bill. Hi, thanks for inviting me again. Always good to see you. Thank you. So I understand that one of the highlights of the holidays is the Winter Music Festival, and this year it's called Holidays with a Twist. Yes. Tell me what the twist is. I think uh, it just demonstrates the diversity of our program, mm -hmm. uh, because each of our the conductors in my department have their own ideas, artistic um, ideas in terms of repertoire, sometimes mm -hmm. it's hard to come down to one theme. So right. the twist sort of, it, 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 more the traditional than to the untraditional, non-traditional, I guess. And uh, so it, there's something for everybody this time. And, and some music might make you do a little twisting. Perhaps, okay. So. What kind of uh, ensembles are involved in this year's festival? We start with the University Chorale on mm -hmm. Saturday, and then mm -hmm. uh, on the 3rd and December 4th with the University Chorale. And then we move to the Salisbury Pops, which is on the 6th. Of December, mm -hmm. Tuesday, and then on the eighth Thursday we have the jazz ensemble. Whew. It's a lot, and then we Big culminate week. with the SSO on the tenth. Uh, right. So the Salisbury and University chorales you direct, is that That's right? Correct. Okay. And where will their performance take place? Um, these performances take place Holloway Hall Auditorium, and then the chamber choir the next day is in the Great Hall. Okay. Now the concert that uh, the first one that we talked about mm -hmm. the. Uh, Salisbury and University Chorales. Is that a combination of students and community members? It is, yes. Oh. We have um, from all ages and some, sometimes some of my faculty and staff join in as well. Uh huh. So tell me about what some of the works are that they'll be performing. All right, we're highlighting a, an Eastern Coast premiere, a piece called Stella Clara. It's um, Latin for star bright. It's the old star bright, starlight mm -hmm. poem. And um, Silvestri is the poet who expanded that. Uh, the piece is by Richard Waters. It's unaccompanied beautiful about that poetry. And then we also are performing a wonderful piece called Stars, uh, because our theme of course is luminescence, and that is accompanied by tuned glasses, which is very interesting and very beautiful. It gives a very surreal, uh, mystical uh, accompaniment. Glasses of water? Or? Like, do you remember when you were a child taking a wine glass yeah. and rubbing the rim? Yeah. Yes, these are tuned to specific six pitches, and the students, while they're singing, play these wine glasses. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. So. Hopefully nobody gets thirsty and takes I hope a drink. They're not supposed to drink because that could change the fish. <laughs> I yes. thought so. Yeah. Right. And um, so for this particular performance, how much are the tickets? We have twelve dollars for adults, nine dollars mm -hmm. for seniors and students, faculty. And um, if anybody has a real problem, I, I can um, let people into the program too. Okay. Children. We especially. don't want anybody to stay away. No, like, like to have everybody they can't come. Yes. It. And it's a short concert, a little under an hour. There's something for everybody. Uh, it's mostly unaccompanied. We're doing one piece called Images, a four movement with a jazz trail. So you'll get your self twisting. I used to go back to our theme. <laughs> um, now, you also direct the SU Madrigal Choir, which is, by the way, what we have in common because I directed my. At Madrigal Choir at Gettysburg. Um, this year, that will be for performing where? Also, Holloway Hall? In the Great Hall this time. In the in Great the... Hall. Yes. Okay, okay. And the name of that concert is called Seasonal Sonnets, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. That's correct. Is that right? Exactly. You got I it. sort of remember from my musical uh, background what a sonnets means, but can you tell our audience? Sonnets is just a combination of sounds, mm -hmm. and uh, especially since we're taking a little different twist again to use that phrase um, instead of just doing all traditional madrigals we're singing some vocal jazz pieces when so, you say vocal jazz no accompaniment uh, mostly unaccompanied there's one piece that I'll probably play the piano with okay. but all the others are unaccompanied some are from our uh, Gershwin like nice work and you, if you can get it someone to watch over me some pieces that audience will be familiar with. Oh, that's really interesting. Now, do you do some of those effects like they do with some of the a cappella choirs? Um, you know, make make drum beats with your mouth, that kind of thing? Like beatbox? Beatbox. I couldn't think of that word. That's right. That's right. Well, I do have some of my singers who sing in the squawk cappella group, which is, uh -huh. a, as you know that very well, but um, no beatbox this time. Uh -huh. They do their percussive effects using the diction. And but they are pieces. still going to be a cappella. Oh, on on all some of them. One all piece, but the right. one piece. Exactly. That's right. Okay. 
Then next, we have the Salisbury Pups, directed by Lee Nyer. Uh, what do they have in store for us this wow. year? Lots of fun. Uh, now we have to look at my notes so I don't That's get anything right. wrong. We're inviting Dr. Paul Pfeiffer to come narrate Twas the Night Before Christmas. Uh -huh. Everybody knows it with a band accompaniment. Mm -hmm. And then Squawk Capella, as I mentioned previously, will be joining the band as well. And then we have uh, SU senior, Cornelius Fletcher, who has one of the lowest bass voices I've heard, he will be narrating his reprise role as the Grinch, the Grinch who stole Christmas. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a real uh, a show that's great for all ages, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Well, I still love to see it every Santa year. Santa Claus making his appearance? He most definitely is. Yes, oh, that's so bring great. the children. Yes, he will that's be there. That's great. Any other Pops traditions that we can expect to see? I think he's ending with the uh, Leor Anderson's The um, um, Sleigh Ride, mm -hmm. and um, also um, he's doing a Chip Davis uh, piece at the uh, by Manham Steamroller, which is very uh, common for Christmas holiday season. So you said Paul Pfeiffer is the, the guest reader? Yeah, he's Dr. Um, Pfeiffer. Mm -hmm. What does Dr. Pfeiffer teach? He is the, uh, he was the co-chair and artistic director of the Bobby Byron Theater right. in our theater and dance department. Uh, but I he, knew I'd heard the name, yes. Yes, yes, yes. he was here last year, I think, uh, perhaps um, and, uh, talking about his, the programs. And where will they be performing? That will be taking place also in Holloway Hall Auditorium okay. at 7.30. Okay. Now the SU Jazz Ensemble, Jerry Tabor's ensemble, continues the festival. Where will that concert be? That is also being performed in Holloway Hall okay, Auditorium. So you just have to show up at Holiday Hall almost <laughs> any day that week. You'll be more right than wrong. <laughs> that's, that's right. Correct. That's right. And all concerts are 7.30 in Holloway Hall um, during that festival Okay, week. that's good. That's good to know. Um, I've heard there also will be a special guest at the jazz concert. Right. We have Mr. Donnie Edwards, who is a very famous drummer. He plays with the Charles Mingus Band oh, gosh. and also Opus 5. So he's an international artist. Um, also I also want to plug a quick workshop on December 8th. That's um, Thursday at 12.30 in the auditorium. He's going to do a workshop with people and uh, people in the community are invited. Oh, Charlie will. He'll uh, be doing the workshop? Don, Donald Edwards. I mean, yeah. Don, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, Don Edwards. It's, uh, sorry. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I, I, get, I get a little confused. Yes, okay, so it's of... Don Edwards. Right. Okay, so yep. can we go back to um, the special guest? Uh, Number 15. Okay. So you say this special guest uh, this year in ja the jazz ensemble is going to be? Donald Edwards. He's a percussionist, mm -hmm. drum drummer, and uh, he's um, famous with the Charles Mingus Band and Opus 5. I mean, that's two big groups, national yeah. groups, right? Exactly, yes. Yeah, so he's a very well-known name internationally, and we're fortunate to be able to have him. He's, he's workshopping with our students on Thursday, the 8th of December mm -hmm. at 12.30 in Holloway Hall Auditorium. Oh, that's a great experience for them to Definitely. have. Yeah. Wow. So the Magical Choir and the Salisbury Pops and the Jazz Ensemble are all free. Is that right? That's correct, yes. Okay. With the exception of the University Corral, Salisbury Corral, and the Salisbury Symphony Orchestra, all other performances that week are free. So no excuses. Everyone should get out to hear one or two or three or four of those concerts, which will really get you into the holiday spirit, Definitely. I'm sure. Well, it just sounds like an amazing array of great things happening and I certainly hope people will join us come out and hear all the great music we're so lucky to have you Bill and to have all of the community and students um, and, and all their talent here to help us celebrate the holidays thank you thank you for pr promoting our music absolutely festival. SU's music students have so much talent to offer and we appreciate you Bill the students and the directors sharing that with the community and now, here's a look at these and other events happening on the campus in December.
SU's Winter Music Festival culminates with the Salisbury Symphony Orchestra's annual holiday concert. My next guest is Tammy Kilgore, manager of the SSO, to talk about what the orchestra has in store for us. Thank you for being here, Tammy. So good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Absolutely. Now, before we talk about the concert itself, let's talk a little bit about you and your background. How long have you been with the Salisbury Symphony Orchestra? Well, I only have been with them in an official capacity since 2010. Mm -hmm. However, I've been in the audience since the early 90s. As have I. <laughs> And uh, I just love every concert. Every, every year it seems to get better and better. Um, we've spoken with the director, Dr. Jeffrey Shoyan. Am I pronouncing that wrong? Shoyan. Shoyan. Yes. Okay, can I start again? Yeah. All right, thanks. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to do number two, starting at number two. Yeah, I'm making notes. Okay. We've spoken with the director, Dr. Jeffrey Shoyan, many times before, but never with anyone on the managerial side of the orchestra. Tell me a little bit about your job. and What is it that you do? What are some of the roles that you have with the Salisbury Symphony Orchestra? I basically take care of operational things mm -hmm. and the financial side. Um, I make sure that we have the correct musicians hired. I actually order the music. Mm -hmm. I take care of advertising. I do grant writing and I pay the bills. So lots of Lots of aspects in what I do. There is a lot. You even do the grant writing. That, that's yes. a big job. It is. Gosh. Now, the orchestra has been, as we just talked about, here with us for about 30 years. What do you think is the most favorite part of your job? What do you enjoy doing the most? My absolute favorite part of the job is to sit backstage while the concert is going on and actually enjoy everything that is being played. I sit there and think, wow, this is my dream job. I can't believe they're even paying me to do this. Well, we'll tell everyone that, and then maybe you won't get paid. <laughs> but but I understand that, because I wake up the, in the morning and I think the same thing. I'm like, wow, I get paid to come to work, because I love what I do. And that's just a key to anything, I think, is loving what you do. It is. So good for you that you found something like that. Um, I know many people are looking forward to the holiday program. What's going on this year? What's the theme? What, what can we expect? Well, the title of our concert is a Fandango Holiday, and the basis for that is we are having lots of Spanish music with Latin American flavors in what we are performing. Oh, great. And the concert will also mark the return of a very popular special guest that we've had before. Is that right? Yes, it is violinist Anton Miller. Mm -hmm. He is professor of violin at the Hart School at the University of Hartford in Connecticut, as well as he is a chamber um, music faculty at New York University. And what will he be performing? Anton will be performing Symphony Espanol written by Eduardo Lalo. It's a five movement piece mm -hmm. with very Spanish characteristics and a very colorful orchestration. Oh, that's going to be terrific. Tell us a little bit about his background. What are the, some of the highlights of his career? He made a uh, debut at Carnegie Hall in 1992. Mm -hmm. He has performed over 50 violin concertos on four continents. Four continents. What a great opportunity, isn't that? To, yeah. You, if you've got the talent, you can get around. Right. It's wonderful to have him locally and all of us to get to experience him. That's great. Any other pieces that the orchestra will be performing? Yes. We are um, doing Fandangos. Mm -hmm. We are doing a piece called Huapango, which is um, known to be the unofficial second national anthem for Mexico. And we will throw in Feliz Navidad and, of course, our traditional sleigh ride at the end. Oh, it just, it sounds inspiring, and I, I think we're so lucky to have the guest performer. Um, when and where is the concert this year? The concert is in um, Holloway Hall on the uh, university campus on December the 10th at 7.30. So say we want to go, how much are the tickets, and where can we purchase them? Uh, tickets are $25 for adults. $20 for seniors, and that's age 60 and above, mm -hmm. $10 for um, SU faculty and staff, and $5 for all students. They can be purchased at SU Guerrero Center mm -hmm. um, and online if you visit www.salisburysymphony.org. That's fantastic. How about at the door, or do they usually sell out? Uh, Christmas, we run the risk of selling out, so, so you might want to early. secure it early. Very good. That's great. I hope to see you there. Well, I won't see you because you'll be backstage. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Going, shoo! <laughs> it worked again. Yes. Right. Well, so good to meet you, Tammy. We're, we're lucky to have you, and it's neat to hear a little bit about the, the, the backdrop uh, behind the, the symphony orchestra. 
There are many details, I, but it's fun. I, I enjoy it. I there are. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you. To bring the orchestra to us. And here's another look at events happening on campus in December. I'd like to thank my guests, Bill Folger, co-chair of SU's Music, Theater, and Dance Department, and Tammy Kilgore, manager of the Salisbury Symphony Orchestra at SU. So many enjoyable events are happening on campus this December. I hope to see you at some of them.
I'm Susan Purnell, and this has been Salisbury University On The Air. Thank you for watching.